Hello everybody and welcome to another AFK Journey video. Today, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a few polls on my account and kind of talk about the state of my account because I haven't made an AFK Journey video uh, that's just kind of just about my account except for like the first two AFK Journey videos that I posted and I'm not even really happy with those videos. This is going to be a quick little like rundown of like what my wish list is, the characters I have, the characters I like, and yeah, also some polls as well. Um, a lot of people are pulling for Ulsa. Well, some people are pulling for Ulsa. For me, personally, she seemed pretty cool at first, but at the end of the day, I feel like she's kind of underwhelming, in my opinion. Um, the only uh, raid-up character that I have enjoyed so far um, that I really wanted to pull a ton for was Vala, so I'm really, really happy that I have a Supreme Plus Vala. I do not um, feel bad about that uh making that decision at all i think it was a good decision i really love vala and you know i've been using her all the time but yeah uh other than that it's you know i don't really have anything really going on um so let's just do some pulls and then i will talk about you know my account because we are guaranteed to get at least one legendary in this video uh, as for the single pulls what we're gonna do is we're just gonna skip them all right because like whatever they're singles Okay, just gonna make sure we're not, uh, okay. Alright, let's do four temples. Let's see what we get. I, I really like a lot of the characters in this game. I just feel like some of the newer, like the Florabelle was kind of underwhelming in my opinion. Um, I didn't really have any interest in her. And, um, who else was it that I didn't really have any interest in? Ah! Uh, Oh, the, the one that's out right now, Ulsa. Just whatever. Yeah, like I said, I like Vala a lot. Oh, we're getting a lot of Muriels. Um, whoops. I was going to make sure that I don't have any more Muriels. Okay, so this is the guaranteed Legendary that we're going to get. We did not uh, get it before Pity. But let's see what it is. I really hope it's something juicy. Because if it is, then, you know. Something we already have one copy of, then maybe we can get it up there. I really like Parisa. I'm hoping I can get my Parisa to Mythic Plus. Um, Marisa has been very, very good for me. Her and Iron, who groups them up and then she does the AoE flowers, is insane combo. Uh, I made a video about it, actually. Oh, Granny Danny. Okay. Um, not de definitely not what I would have preferred, but I do use her for my second team in, um, what's it called? The, uh, the AFK stages. I'd say the biggest problem, however, with that is that I don't have any more AFK stages that I need to do. Um, yeah, let's get her to Legendary. Honestly, I'm not even... I don't even know if I'm worried about... Okay, it's only 100. That's fine. It's only 100. I have 476 of them. Okay. So now Granny Danny is Mythic. That's cool. Sweet. Um... Yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. I'm actually finished. I just finished before I started this video today. I just finished getting to 1,125. So I am completed on the AFK battles. And she was the person for my second team. I have not done a single trial of the Abyss. I have not even clicked these swords. I don't even know what the mode it is. So this video is also going to have my first time doing uh, the trial of Abyss. And we're going to. You know, we're going to see what that is. Um, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's go back. Let's do this last 10 pull real quick. I'm just going to keep saving up my rate up recruitments, like I said. Because, yeah, I mean, why would I not, you know? If I if I want to wait for someone other than Ulsa, and that also means like saving up my gems. That means that like more and more now, I feel like the game is being pushed further and further in the direction of you know the the really AFK aspect of the game because my server was one of the ones that was created semi late, so I'm not gonna get access to the new season for a few days now. So yeah. Hey, is what it is. Uh, what are we on the Dream Realm, by the way? 
Yeah, we're 46 on the server in Dream Realm. We are in the... I actually haven't been doing my daily arenas all the way for the past few days. We should be a lot higher than this. We were once, like, ranked 14, I think, on the server whenever we first placed champion. I've just been kind of allowing my rank to DK. I probably shouldn't be doing that. Um, but I'll use all my I'll use all my stuff today. Um yeah. Alright, let's go to my wish list and I can tell you guys about that. Um actually let's go to my characters first. So as for Supreme Plus characters, I have Thorin, I have Vala, uh, I have Odie. Odie is only Supreme, not Supreme Plus. And then I have CCL also Supreme. CC is one away from being Supreme Plus, and you guys know how I can get that. I'm gonna use the uh, was it the PVP tokens or the guild? To I think it's the PVP tokens. Yeah, because guild is for uh, Hypogenin or uh, the other the, the good guys or bad guys, the gods. Um, I'm gonna use my PVP tokens for CC uh, for this next copy. So that's gonna be pretty exciting. Um, as for Stargaze. I am 8 away from guaranteeing that I get a Reiner. I actually have a Reiner already, um, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I don't remember where I even got the Reiner from, if I'm being completely honest. Oh no no, I did reach the 30k at one point. I did reach the 30k guild points. So I got the first Reiner and now I'm almost at getting a second one, not only from guild points, but also from the guarantee. Um, from the from the dream summons uh another place i'm close to getting a reiner or i might get a reiner from hopefully is my next uh where's the daily logins thing okay this one so i got this character unfortunately i have to wait till day 56 of logging in now so that's going to be a little rough till I get my next Hypogenin or a Celestial character. But I got Dionel for my Hypogenin, which I think, in my opinion, is the one I have heard about the least. Um, he might be the worst or second worst besides, like, the ghost. Because I know, like, that one girl that goes up into the sky and, like, slams down stuff, like, in the battle is pretty good. The second best one. I cannot even remember her name. Uh, but yeah, um, let's go to the name. I'll get it for you. Scarlita. Okay, yeah, Scarlita I'm pretty sure is the second best one. At least I've heard. Uh, Reiner is definitely the number one. And I already have a copy of him, so another copy of him would instantly boost him up. And then, you know, a few more on the way, hopefully. Dionel, I think, is either the worst or second worst by Burial. Um, I actually have I've barely heard anything about this character, yeah, Burial or D Dionel. Um... Other than just like Burial's design is insanely good. Um, it's really badass. Uh, other than that, yeah, those are all my Supreme to Supreme Plus level characters. I don't have any others. Um, I have my Artan my Antar Antandra, Mythic Plus. Um I have for for my weapons, I have Odie's plus ten because I just really I use Odie for like everything. Um, I want to probably get him to Mythic Plus, uh, uh, Supreme Plus. I might put him back on the list. I just took him off because I was prioritizing boosting other characters up. I might put him back on the wish list just because he is so insanely broken. I got Thorn up to plus eight because it's the most, um, it's what people suggest for uh, the most. You want to get stats from having the special weapon upgrades, but sometimes you don't want to take it all the way to 10 because the last two upgrades are like 45 golden. Uh, upgrade tokens worth and it's most you know expensive uh, i got fall all the way up to 10 though because you know she's like one of my favorite characters in the game she's supreme plus she's one of my strongest characters absolutely so i also got her up there and then my cci I took to plus eight i haven't gone any farther than that um my od my od is still only mythic unfortunately i don't have any copies yet so i need to get two more ods to get them up there uh, my Coco is the person that I am actually focusing on uh, right now in terms of my Emporium uh, getting... So first for my Dream Store Emporium, I used my, all my stuff on Odie, and then once I got Odie to Supreme, I switched to using stuff on Merrily, and then I got Merrily to whatever she's at right now, and then I was like, okay, 
Um, no, I got Merrily to Mythic Plus, and I was like, okay, I'm going to try and focus on Odie, because Odie's also not Mythic Plus. Uh, or Coco. Um, Coco is not Mythic Plus or anything like that. Coco is actually like a pretty low rank compared to my other characters, even though I use them quite a lot. Yeah, it's only Legendary Plus, so we definitely want to get him up there to Mythic and then Mythic Plus for sure. So I'm focusing all my stuff on him until I get him up there. Uh, yeah, other than that, guys, that's the check-in on my account. It's 10 minute banger. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, this just looks like a tower. It just looks like a tower. Interesting. Um, we'll just see what this team that it gave me can do. Is that all it is? Just a a tower that you can get like gear upgrades for and stuff. Interesting. Okay. I mean, whatever. It's just a tower. Okay, I actually didn't know anything about this mode. Oh my god, what the hell? Forging the stone in Hero Essence? Wait, do you get that like every single thing? Oh my god, that wasn't even like a special thing. What? Wait, that was so many forging stones. What? So this is how you max out your gear. Okay. So this is how you max out your gear and get a bunch of essence. Let me see if it's a different reward for stage two. That's crazy. That's, that actually just took me by such a surprise whenever I just saw that. Let's see if that's not just the first, since it's like the first floor. If you've played this mode, obviously maybe you know it, but I had no idea. All right, let's see. What does it give us? Wow, that's just what it is. Oh my god. That is insane. That is incredible. What the hell? <laughs> that's crazy. I thought it was going to be a lot less rewards than that because the, re the bonus reward for getting this floor five is literally just five of the most basic like special gear upgrade that's crazy like that is such a small reward for tier 5 whenever like the per floor rewards are insane what the hell I can genuinely say that there was not an ounce of me that expected that wow okay okay uh, I'm gonna wait till my max my max forging level is 240 is that possible is it possible to get a max, max forging level 240 oh it might be the thing that might be holding back my last five is the fact that cc needs 10 more levels to get to 240 resonance and by the way once i get to 240 resonance i am literally just chilling waiting for the uh new season to start because that's what you need to participate in season stuff so yeah once i'm at 240 resonance level i'm ready for it that is insane trial of abyss is goaded as hell holy shit um, is there anything else I wanted to discuss in this video? Uh, yapping, yappingly, yap yapper. Um, oh, there was one thing I have like a little bone to pick about this. I made a whole video talking about how I thought it was awesome that they added rewards to a, uh, oh, wow, I can actually complete the next few levels of this. Can I be, okay. I, I, I can go through and beat the whole thing now. Um, they added weekly rewards to, to labyrinth. And then it was there for one week and then they just stopped. And it's like, what the hell, bro? I thought it was like this. I thought it was like, I mean, it was kind of shitty rewards, but like it was at least an attempt at a solution for the problems that people shared that they had with Labyrinth in terms of like the lack of rewards that is in the game, like in the game mode. Like, what the hell is this? I think it should have essence all the way through the whole, you know, every floor. Uh, but it just doesn't. Um, yeah, I thought that they were going to at least keep the weekly gifts, but th they just removed it only was around for one week. And then the weekly shit was just gone and it wasn't even that great. So that was real. That was actually kind of like, honestly, really annoying. I made a whole video about it. I thought it was like goaded as hell. And then they just kind of ruined it. Like they kind of shit on their own 
thing. It's just really sad. But anyway, that's the state of my AFK journey account. I'm 14 million power. Um, okay, I'm almost 15 million power. Uh, I've been feeling really good about this game, but I feel like I'm at a point where I've tangibly completed it. I am chilling. I don't have... The only thing I could go for is like completionist level stuff where I'm just going to get to the uh, the gear resonance, the, the max gear resonance, and then level my gear up, you know, level my equipment up to 240. Then once all my gear is 240, which apparently is going to be the easiest thing in the entire universe to do because of Trial of Abyss, which I didn't even know, which I didn't even know about. Um, yeah. Okay. I, I guess I'm pretty much almost done with the game. And then I can do some other completionist stuff like go around and just get every chest because I went around and got every chest in all the other areas of the game, um, like the Wheatshire, the Dark Forest. As you can see, like, there's almost nothing here. There's nothing at all. Um, but, and not even in the very last one. Like, there's some enemies, but that's just because I don't care about doing it. Like, I get the 100% completion on my zones, and then I, I'm fine with leaving. But I haven't done that at all for Remnant Peaks outside of Remnant Peaks 1. I don't think I've I don't think I've beat Remnants Peaks too. No, I literally haven't. I'm still missing a chest there. There's a puzzle here, you know. So I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna do this probably you know over the next few days. I'm actually going to be going on a trip. Um, this video will be coming out while I'm on the trip. I'm going to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm going there with my girlfriend for a week. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying uh, the content that I recorded. I recorded like four videos on the 11th, which is today. Um, I'm talking like the past tense because, you know, it's coming out in a few days from now. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Peace.